so I'm in a state of cognitive decline uh, due to the trauma that union work has left me with and that is because the employers slowly but steadily started picking on me and I didn't want to talk about it for a few months just because first of all I'm not very good at recognizing when people are malicious towards me because I'm just so used to having cognitive distortions and I'm so used to having, you know, negative perceptions of the world. So I've been doing a lot of work to try and not think about the maliciousness of other people. So it ended up doing me a disservice. And then I also couldn't process a lot of that trauma in the moment. Like I, I was just not in a place where I could just sit down and process what happened to me. And like granted, it was nothing unusual. They just started, you know, filing reports um for things that i did that were not according to our policies our guidelines and whatnot even though some of these things were very very minuscule and non-consequential and i actually used to do these things all the time and i know that a lot of my colleagues do them as well because they don't really have a lot of bearing on our productivity and our work altogether but i was written up more in the last year than I've ever been in my life and I've been working at this place for 16 years and since the union case has been resolved in our favor but they did appeal of course they did so they took it to the next level so it is going to be city level they did take it to the district level at first as they were supposed to and now they took it to the city level and of course that's just another way to distract us another way to scare us another way to just show us that they mean business and they're going to you know get us even though everything we did was absolutely completely legal and the district did say that in a public letter and there were actually other you know articles written in several papers in our city talking about how we did everything right and, and they didn't really have a right to demand we seize our organizing bottom-up organizing and unionizing so yeah it's been very hard for me to kind of process all of this and it brought back some of the things that i thought i've overcome in my personal life so I'm in complete and utter state of burnout, like I have a hard time getting out of bed on many days, I have been really struggling with, you know, accepting myself and accepting everything I've been doing, thinking, you know, what did I do wrong, even though according to the freaking law, I didn't do anything wrong, the judge told us we didn't do anything wrong, so, but still, of course, I felt like I could have done this and I could have done that and you know to make it better but I know I mean this is exactly what they want us to feel they want us to feel like we're stupid and incapable we can't stand up for ourselves that is in the textbook you know this is the textbook anti-union activity and so this is a cautionary tale and I mean there's a lot of written about it by people who are much more well versed in union work than I am but they have been warning us I mean I was naive I didn't know and it happened to me just like it did to a lot of other people who tried unionizing so I know I'm not an exception and it's really freaking hard nonetheless you know so but the good thing about all of this all of this trauma that i had to endure and that is still going to you know affect me even though i'm most likely going to just quit you know in the next you know foreseeable future i don't know exactly when but it's coming it's coming i'm really not going to stay here not only because of the union work but there are you know other areas of this job that i really really came to dislike and it's something that's outside of my control i can't really change that so i'm going to probably leave despite how well or how badly the union goes you know i'm going to still you know give it a little push one last dying push to to try and restore some justice at least for my colleagues who would stay behind but um there is still a positive to this there is still a silver lining to this because because i'm hoping that the colleagues that I worked with, the ones that unionized with us, that they saw just to what lengths the powers that be, the capitalists, the bosses, would go to in order to stop us from protecting our rights. And they, I'm so hopeful that they are going to take this away and that this is going to help them build class consciousness because most of the colleagues that I have unionized with, they don't really have much of a class consciousness. They don't really know much about, you know, capitalism and how it works, but they understand justice very well, just like all people do, you know? So I'm really hoping that this is going to be for them a chance of 
understanding that this isn't just this place we work at, this isn't just, you know, us being unlucky. It is a systemic issue, and we cannot fight it on an individual level. We will have to unite and fight it all together. So I'm really hopeful that this is going to happen. But if not, well, at least I tried. So yeah, I'm going to try and distract myself with making videos about, you know, foraging and anything that's not connected to union work in the months to be. Uh, we'll see how it will go, and I'll keep you updated. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you sometime later.